Hello Capricorn Collective. I'm going to do a general message for you all, okay? First, I'm going to pull some angel ancestor cards and then I'm going to get into the tarot to clarify these messages that <clears throat> the Holy Spirit has to give to you, okay? And your angels and ancestors. And welcome back. <laughs> I'm trying. All right, Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, could you please give me a message for the Capricorn Collective? All right, we got solidness mineral. That's the ancestor. Adventurer, explorer. It looks as if that possibly some of you all aren't getting out in nature much, possibly. Because the um, adventurer, explorer is in, verse, so is in reverse. So maybe you all need to get out in nature more. To become more attuned with yourselves. Uh -oh. I don't like when it hits that. Okay, let me go ahead and read these two ancestor messages and see what spirit has to say. Mineral solidness. All right, so for mineral solidness, it's time to survey what is solid in your life and what isn't and make adjustments as necessary. Are your personal boundaries solid or purious? Do you need to make a stand with others who tend to intrude on your personal space? Or are your boundaries so rigid that you don't let anyone in? Do a further check in with your relationships. Are they solid and dependable? Trustworthy? How about yourself in in your relationships do you stand by your friends are you sometimes too solid imperable no sorry impermeable unable or unwilling to speak your truth or express your authentic feelings if all, it's also important to solidify your relationship with spirit to release your doubt and restore your faith Make a list of the areas where you need to remain firm and strong and those where you could be softer and more pliable. All right. So that's clear and cut to the point. It's time to set some boundaries and it could be time to, um, you know, you might have walls up, you know, but we're going to clarify it to see. Okay, this is Explore Adventure. You feel the predictability of your life caught up in a revolving door of routine and boredom, punctuated occasionally with unexpected surprises that provide contrast between the habitual and familiar cycle of your life, feeling trapped in the ordin ordinariness. You may even feel you may even fantasize a way out of this prison-like feeling that crops up periodically. It's time to break out. Introduce some excitement into your relationships. Express your emotions more freely. Speak your truth without blame, shame, or judgment. Ask for what you want. Plan on it. plan an adventure that challenges you physically and or mentally. Take up a musical instrument or enroll in painting class. Stretch yourself. Get out of your habitual routines and relax the obsessive need to be in control. While you're at it, have some fun. All right. So maybe you're needing to also do this with friends and family. Okay, possibly. You know. I know how it is because I tend to be stuck in hammer mode for a long time. Like, I really, I like people, but it's like, I just like to be by myself. So, maybe that's it too. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit. 
Could you please clarify what's mineral for solid? Uh, what's mineral solidness for Capricorn? Isolation. Yep. You're withdrawn. You're so like you're. It. You could be. Too. Too much inside. Okay, too much withdrawn, but I get it. All right, what's the hermit in reverse with mineral solidness? Mm hmm Yeah, it looks as if that you're just more focused on, you know, your money and your home. But it looks like there's some um some attachments here, okay? Maybe it's I'm thinking that it could possibly be like you're too much in your head, too. Like you're like I said, you're too much in the house. Yeah, in your head too, because I see this nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Clarify the devil, please. Yeah. You may have some um, challenges right now or some competition. It seems as if that you're really trying to protect your energy, you know. Um, it could be um, with a, a lot of people around you. Okay. Give me a second. Mm hmm. Okay, you may be in your head stuck, like, overthinking about something as well. But it's like, you you shouldn't probably think too hard, okay? Just um, because you have, you have everything that you need. You just are, um, you just have this energy on you to where you feel like you may have to be a little bit more defensive when it comes to some people, you know, or situations. Okay, let's see. It seems as if whatever this this um negative energy is, you know, that's going on around you is blocking you off too from what you need to be doing. You know, it, it's, it's too much. What's the hermit in reverse? You may be trying to avoid something from happening. It seems like you might be like clinging to the past possibly. Okay, if you're not doing that, then it seems like um, You might have a fear, like you, you might have a fear of change, like whatever it is, like you're comfortable. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. That's basically what this is saying. Like spirit is telling you it's time to come on out your comfort zone, whatever it is. Okay. What's somebody could have a Mars and Leo. What's the devil with the seven of wands? Mm. These cards keep turning in reverse. Anyways, my kids love to come out when I'm doing readings. I'm doing readings, baby. Go back in the room. What's up? 
Come on, talk fast. I'm doing a reading. What's with this my good hero? What's what? What's um what's when we done with the movie? Then it's time to go sleep. You can put on another movie, okay? But as long as y'all are laying down. We are. Okay. Mm. You might have an obsession, like, with, um... with like work like you may be very highly competitive if this isn't you then this is someone in your energy possibly a um virgo or you could just have virgo in your chart but it's it's like it seems as if that you might be like a very competitive person and it seems as if that that is what is in you was keeping you in your head too like also maybe making you not want to be around other people because it's like you may feel like you got to have this hard exterior but you really don't possibly okay I don't know. What's the seven of wands with the nine of pentacles in reverse? Holy Spirit. Yeah, there is. It's. Okay. So I'm also getting that. You may also be needing to block yourself off because there is someone that is. Um, okay, no, because I'm getting so much in my head right now, I might just stick to one thing. So, basically, what I'm getting is that you are trying to like. Figure out your purpose if you get, if you kind of, like, you're trying to, you know, balance everything out. But it's seeming as if that you may be a little bit too comfortable in this position. Like, and you probably aren't seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What else for mineral solidness for Capricorns? Mm. What's the hair font? You could be dealing with the Taurus. What's the hair font? Now it's it's looking as if that there is. A Taurus possibly wanted to come towards you to propose something, you know, to have a proposal with you. Have a proposal with you. Um, a Taurus may be wanting to propose to you, but it seems as if that you may, um, you may have your guard up to this person. Because it's like, maybe you're just so much into your singles energy that you may be losing sight of, you know, actually giving more of your authentic self to others, allowing yourself to be loved. Okay, basically. Let's see, what's the hair font with the Knight of Cups, Holy Spirit? Yeah, like you have your back turned towards this. But this person is um This person could be coming from 
from afar. Yeah. This person could be coming from afar um, towards you. It's like maybe you blocked this person off for some reason. Like whatever reason this was. What's this? Um, you all could have... Um, yeah, you have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart somewhere. What's this Three of Wands? Let me see. What's the Three of Wands? With, I'll be doing that too much. What's the Three of Wands with the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant? Maybe this person possibly turned their back on you. But... It, you know, in the past, but either way, it looks as if that this person wants to come back and have a family with you. They see you as their ten of cups. Okay. Yeah. And if this person hasn't done anything to you in the past, this person, it just looks as if that someone who you may not be focused on right now, they have their eye on you. And they want to come and propose to you, like propose, propose something to you, either whether it's a relationship or it's an uh, engagement, you know. Uh, it looks like a, they want to propose because you got the hair front with the Knight of Cups. This person could be... Um, what's that? Yeah. Pisces, Taurus. Anyways, <clears throat> let's keep going. Clarify, explore, adventure. It could be wanting to take you somewhere. Or maybe you should go somewhere like in nature with this person. Go maybe maybe you two like should go somewhere where water is and put your feet in the water and just open up. Okay, so Maybe you may be, or this person may be, like, contemplating, you know, this, or maybe you just may be contemplating, you know, this with this person, if they have already came in with an offer. Maybe you're contemplating this offer. Let's see who the, what this could be. What's this Four of Cups, Holy Spirit? Because it's right in your face. It's just like... You're just not like not interested. What's the four of cups, Holy Spirit, with the explorer adventure? Like this person could possibly pull you out of your comfort zone and get you more into life, you know, like having fun, you know. That's what we all need to be doing, anyways. All right. Um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like you may have been betrayed too much in the past this person could have possibly betrayed you in the past so maybe they want to come in and bring you an offer and also confess like the some regret they, they possibly could feel in regret about Whatever they did. What's this uh, Four of Cups with the Seven of Swords in reverse? Okay, we have the Empress here. 
So, hmm. clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress with the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Four of Cups. It could be done with the Cancer. Yeah, so... This person could be a Taurus, Libra. Um, this could be someone's, um, baby's mama or baby father. But anyways, this person didn't have, they had like a lack of direction, lack of control. Okay. They could have been arrogant a little, you know, what's the cherry in reverse, but they're planning to come in and, um, have this with you. What else? Uh, what's the chariot in reverse with the Empress? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now, you could be this Empress. Okay. Yeah, and it looks like like they see that. Okay, so I'm also getting that somebody is probably having car troubles, something with pain on a car. You probably have a car note or something like that or car insurance, something with a car. It seems as if, or maybe, you know, you just, somebody, you know, it's a halt when it comes to like a car. Okay, but anyways, um... Maybe somebody couldn't possibly make enough uh, money to be able to come towards you. Maybe they weren't making enough money to be able to come towards you, okay? That's what also had them stuck. But now it's like they can. Or maybe they're just thinking about it. That's what it is. Maybe they want to come in and propose this offer to you. But they, they're they stuck right now financially, possibly. Okay. Or this just could be you. Because the Knight of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Somebody could have a Cancer Mercury. Um, yeah, this person could be working hard in order to bring this to you. Yeah. It's looking as if they, some of you may need to take a different approach to something when it comes to this collaboration. Okay, let me see. What's the Knight of Pentacles with the, mm, what's the Knight of Pentacles with the Three of Cups? Mm-hmm. So maybe this 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 um whatever collaboration you had with someone that could have been friends or family is somebody close, like some people close. Whatever this was it looks as if that this is what also um 
slowed your money down as well. Okay, you could have invested into this. And it seems as if that you may still have like some, some past resentment towards these people. What's the five of swords in reverse? Yeah, you could have blocked them off. Okay, um, an air sign could be significant. Let me see. Aquarius, possibly. If not, then just an air sign. Yeah, it looks like an Aquarius, possibly. An Aquarius was involved in this, whatever this was. What's the Queen of Swords with the Five of Swords in reverse? Or somebody else, you know, could have betrayed you and then like this this Queen of Swords could have also betrayed you and blocked you out. Now, okay, so this Queen of Swords is the Queen of Cups. Now, this could be the same person. Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, but I'm getting big cancer and Pisces. Um, whoever this person is, it seems as if that they possibly um they're they're like very strong with their communication, you know, very, very blunt with it, but it's like they don't mean it harshly, possibly, whoever this is. Clarify the Queen of Swords with the Queen of Cups. Or these are just the same, you know, these are just two different people that was in that Three of Cups. You know? Okay, you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, and I'm also getting maybe there's a collaboration that that you are needing to take a um take a shot at with a queen of cups and a queen of swords because they're very one is very intelligent of course both are just together it's great but one is very intelligent the other one is very nurturing and healing okay so maybe you're needing to take a shot at this um you know group Yeah, because it seems you might have past resentment. You may be all up in your head about the past, negative thoughts, okay? Self-imposed restrictions. But spirit is telling you to get out there. Yeah, you're all in your head too much. Because right after the um, mental, you know, the, the swords cards, there is also the take action cards. So, it's time to do that. What's the Knight of Wands? And then I'm going to end you all's reading. What's this Knight of Wands? Page of Cups. Yeah, because this is a creative opportunity right here. It's, it's, it, it is. And the Queen of Cups could be the one that is presenting it to you. Well, both of them are. Yep, because you got the Page of Swords. It looks like, yeah. You're just needing to act on it. All right, Capricorn, that was your reading. If it resonated, do not forget to like and subscribe if you have not. I will talk to you all soon.